Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Chicago and I am so excited. I've never been here before and I've always wanted to come visit and today is the day. I'm going to make a little video going out exploring the city and discovering the best it has to offer and share my experiences with you. So we're going to eat some of its iconic food, go to a baseball game, maybe a river cruise and have a beautiful Chicago kind of day. Anywho's let's go do this chicago is a beautiful city and i've always wanted to come visit and explore all of the amazing like history and food and today's the day look at how beautiful it is here I have been traveling the world and living my dream and exploring places I've always wanted to go to. And I uh, usually have to do some research, but Chicago, uh, it's so iconic that like, I already have my list. I get, there are so many things Chicago is known for that uh, we're gonna try to do so much in one day. I know for sure we have tickets to go see the White Sox play tonight and I don't have to be at C2E2 for my meet and greet until later in the afternoon so we have all morning and afternoon to explore and I wanted to come see the bean but it looks like uh, it's under construction. I could see it a little bit but there's a big fence wrapping all the way around it but it looks cool. I love just roaming around the streets and kind of like getting a lay of the land whenever I come visit a city. And uh, one of the things that I also do is I usually get either one of those uh, bus tours or a boat tour. And since Chicago has a water, like a river basically running through it, um, they probably have a water taxi. So I figured we'd start there, go on the water taxi, take in all the views and kind of get a little familiar with the area. Since the bean was all wrapped up, we decided to make our way down to the river and see about going on a river cruise. Look at how beautiful this city is. Like, I'm so excited. That's what I want to do. I just want to go rolling around looking at pigeons. I was going to do one of the 90-minute tours. Uh, the tickets were around $70. And then I noticed that you can get a shoreline water taxi all day pass for like $32. Bucks. And uh, it's not like a big boat, but it's still very nice. Oh, they're calling me. Oh, I'm going to try to sit up here. I'm so excited. I'm afraid I might get a little cold out there. Should have brought a coat. Just in time, it looks like it's starting to rain. So we're gonna dodge the rain. That was such a nice little boat ride. And look at the city just getting engulfed in fog. That is the coolest thing I think I've ever seen. It looks so spooky and awesome. That boat ride was beautiful. I loved it. And it was so mystical with the fog too. I hope you guys liked it. I just like, I was just sitting there riding it all the way from Union Station over to the Navy Pier. And now I want to get something new. I want to get an Italian beef. And I was going to go to Portillo's, but I have one in Florida. So I want to try something different. I was a toss up between Mr. Beef because I want to go there because that's like uh, the restaurant that inspired the bear. And they actually filmed it there. And then Al's, Al's Beef. I hear that's a good one too. There it is, Mr. Beef. And I love how they have a billboard that says, Yes, Chef. Wow, look at it. That's so cool. If you have never seen the bear on FX and you have worked in the food industry like before, I highly suggest it. And this restaurant is filmed here and it's based like the, the whole story of the show is based off of like a restaurant like this. And I love it. And I'm so excited. I have been wanting to eat here. This is like my number one bucket list thing, you know? It's a sad day here at Mr. Beef. Unfortunately, it looks like they're temporarily closed. The original Mr. Beef. It says that there's a note, there's actually a note on the door. Mr. Beef will be closed until May 2nd. It's right here. I was so close. The elegant dining room's in there too. Oh man. Chef? Yes, chef? <laughs> at least I got to say it. Look, they even have some of like the bear posters in there. Man, I was so close. Ah. My heart 
My heart is broken in Chicago. Oh man, I really wanted to try this. But like I said, maybe more reason to come back, you know? Make another trip up. But I have other options. Like I said, not Portillo's because we have that in Florida, but Al's. Al's, huh? I Googled the next best thing and a lot of people voted Al's Italian beef is one of the best uh, sandwiches in Chicago. So I think we're gonna do Al's. All right, we got the beef. I actually got the beef and sausage combo. A little wet and a little french fries, and I'm excited. I'm gonna dive right on in. We eating on the street. Italian beef in the back. Yo, this looks so good. Wow, look at them sweet peppers on there too. Oh, yeah, much too good. And then you can see the sausage right in there. All right, first bite. Oh, this is good. And I love that I'm sitting here eating it, like, right here. It's so beautiful. And I, I think that this is a little bit spicier than Portillo's. And I think that's the only Italian beef I've ever had. The more and more I eat this, the more I just absolutely love it. The combination between the sausage and the beef is so good. Like, this is, I'm going to remember this. This is like something I would want to come get again enough of the beef business we made our way up to the cat cade it's a cat rescue and adoption lounge and i am so excited i met up with some of my friends and we're gonna go in and get ourselves a coffee and pet some kitties the cat cade is a cat cafe and rescue uh so you can come hang out with a bunch of cats and play video games and drink drinks and if you like the cat you can adopt it you can adopt the cat that you want to hang out and you can come multiple times unless somebody adopts it before you and i really like the idea behind this because i'm an animal person and it's really cool to have a safe place for animals to be until they find a home and this is really nice it's very cozy and I i'm excited like you know what i mean i think it's gonna be cool and i'll put all their information in the description so you guys can check it out i don't know if it's a chicago thing to do uh but dth loves cats and he was like hey i want to go here and i was like you know what i want to go too <laughs> The Cat Cade is a nonprofit arcade themed cat rescue and adoption lounge. Basically, our weird version of a cat cafe. All of the cats are adoptable, and our door fees fund our mission to rescue even more cats. So make a dream reservation. Dream. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, you get a nice little Capri Sun. What? This is the corner. I'm gonna go over here by this litter box. <laughs> I, I want to wait for a cat to come up to me. Here comes a cat. Come here, kitty. What? You're big. Hi. Oh, you got one on your shoulder? Oh, oh my lord. Hi. Can I pet you? Oh. What's your name? What's your name? Yo, I didn't think I'd be coming to Chicago to drink Capri Suns and pet cats, but I'm really happy about it. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. It's very, it's hard to open up Capri Suns. I forgot about that. I don't know. It might be... I might be Theseus. Oh, are you Theseus? Are you Theseus? Huh? Are you Theseus? I think you are. All the names of the cats that are here right now. That's kind of cool. I'm pretty sure... Maya or Maya? Oh my lord, I was so wrong. That's Idaho Big Potato. Six years old, I can be adopted on my own. I also get along with cats. Idaho baked potato. This is Idaho. Idaho baked potato. Idaho baked potato. Idaho. Six years old. Oh, Dustin, you're having the best time of your life right now, aren't you? Oh, Idaho's coming up here. You want to come sit on my lap? Come on. Oh my lord. Yes, it's safe. You can come this way. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> of course, the guy with the cat vest and the cat dad patches is getting all the attention in here. <laughs> Stealing my baked potato, I see. 
Big Potato's just going around, the old man. breaking people's hearts. First me, then DTH. Now she's gonna be with you. Loaded baked potato decided to come back. <laughs> oh, right up on me, Eric. I wish I can take you home. I didn't think this place can get any cooler, but look. The Pac-Man games are the cat beds. They're in there sleeping. You can play Pac-Man above the cats. I'm sorry, it's just so exciting. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Aww. I love this place. It was so cool just hanging out with friends, cats hopping up on you. And we were gonna play like some of the games. They had uh, Mario Kart and some arcades. And But like, honestly, I, I just wanted to hang out with the cats. Like it was just so cool. And I wish I could take Load of Baked Potato or I had a whole baked potato home with me. But I don't know, I don't hold. <laughs> Look at this. <gasps> Look at the Dalmatians. What? Oh man, now I miss Gracie. Oh. Wow, what is going on today? First that cat Cade, and now she's seeing two. I know, this is great. Oh, I'm starting to see why they call it the Windy City. I mean, it's very windy, but uh, it's cold too. But it's chill? It, yeah, it's like a chill, but it's not bad at all. I'm actually really nice to put my hoodie on, and I feel like actually really comfortable. And even though we just had some beef, I think now we're gonna move to another Chicago statement. I guess a statement, a Chicago statement. <laughs> the Chicago staple, uh, a hot dog, a hot dog. Honestly, between taking boats and Ubers, we've just been popping around Chicago and stumbling upon like the coolest little areas. Look at this restaurant. It's got a little van up there. And we're gonna make our way down to the Wiener Circle. I think it's the Wiener Circle. It's, a, it's an iconic Chicago uh, hot dog spot where uh, they get a little sassy with you. A little sassy. It can get actually a little bit, I guess you would say, R-rated in here. Uh, so I decided to come during the day because it's open till like 2 or 3 in the morning. It's open real late and it has a reputation. <laughs> Tell Boochie oh. I'm coming back tonight. Okay. Tell him to be ready. Right. Thank you. There's a clear warning. Customers may be verbally abused at their own expense and for our amusement. <laughs> Suck it up, Buttercup. The wiener circle, so... Well, the fucking wiener circle. Wow, the wiener circle. I'm from South Suburbs. I think I'm gonna get the charred dog and a charred Polish too. Look at how cool this place is. I love it. I just want mine plain. What? Can I just have a plain? Just a hot dog and bun? I just want I just want a plain, a hot dog and a bun. No, just no nothing. I don't want nothing on it. I don't like ketchup or mustard. You like sweet relish, grilled onions? I like grilled onions. Oh, okay. I'll have grilled. Oh, okay. How about peppers? Okay, I'll do. I'll do. Uh, I'll do the the grilled hot dog. No, I don't like sauce. No. No sauces at all. No sauces. Okay. I'm not too saucy. Thank you. I am. <laughs> That's the true Chicago dog right there. Man, it looks so good. I, I mean, I just don't like the mustard or the uh, the relish, you know. You don't want the pickle. You don't want the tomato. You don't want shit. Take a look at these dogs. I ended up getting a, a Polish sausage and then a char uh, char dog, and they talked me into trying it. Without, I mean, everything except for the mustard. Uh, and I added onions and peppers on there, so it looks actually good. And we got fries, too. Honestly, I'm impressed. I like a little charredness. And you can see, nicely charred there. They also put, like, a little salt seasoning and some peppers on there. So here we go. All right, that's amazing. I'm not even, wow. I don't even like pickles like that. When I say I absolutely love this hot dog, it's the way it's cooked. Look at this, I wanted to show you. Like they like put little cup marks in it and it's busting with charness. That is so good. I love it. This is, this honestly, I, I was expecting exactly what I got right you gotta here. You gotta go char, not steam. Yeah, char all the way. Busting with charness. I've had the Italian beef, I've had a hot dog. Now, 
before the end of the day, I got to get some pizza. You know what I mean? But let me know, do you like your hot dogs charred or boiled? No one's got time for dirty water dogs. Nah, that's just not good. Or steamed. Steamed Steam dogs are pretty good. Yeah, I used to microwave my hot dogs, and they used to blow up in odd places. You ever do that? You ever microwave a hot dog? In a paper towel. In a wet paper towel. Oh, I've up, done that before. The Put the hot dog right in a paper towel, wrap up, yeah. 30 seconds. And then it sometimes hisses at you, too. Like... <laughs> <laughs> crazy i used to get the bar hot dogs you can get like a whole pack for i think it was a dollar 20 and then i didn't even get hot dog buns i'd get just white bread and i would just fold the bread and just eat the hot dog easy peasy and now i'm eating hot dogs here at the wiener circle look at that i'm a wiener the wiener circle was amazing and i love it and dare i say that might have been the best hot dog i've ever had in my life like it was so good and i love the whole idea behind it of course there was some sass but it was kind of sass with a smile and it was warm and it, it was funny and it was hard like you know i loved it and if you have something that makes you laugh and also feed you then uh that's a good combination I feel like we're going to be eating a lot of food today, but I really want to try a little bit of everything so that I can at least say, yeah, I've had that Chicago pizza, that Chicago hot dog. Uh, but right now, we're going to take a little break and uh, make our way to uh, C2E2 to get ready for my meet and greet at the Roosevelt's booth. I'm only going to be at C2E2 for probably three hours or so. I'm happy that we got an early start to the day because we still have a lot left that I want to do. I got to get the pizza. We're going to the White Sox game. So I don't know how much time I'll have to spend at C2E2 itself, but I'll be there for a little bit at the Roosevelt's booth and then we'll pick things back up, explore in the city uh, as soon as we're done. My hotel actually is in the same building as C2E2. And if you didn't know, C2E2 means Chicago Comic and Entertainment Expo. I'm wearing a shirt that no one has seen yet. And it's coming out for uh, May the 4th and it's Jar Jar Banks. I'll show you a little bit right here. Oh, that's Joker actually over there. It looks like it's a pretty busy day today here at C2E2 and I'm excited to go hang out Explore the uh, convention floor a little bit. Sorry, I very easily get distracted. But yeah, a little Jar Jar. Oh wait, maybe I can lift it up. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Jar Jar! I just pulled over and decided to just, you know, stand here and uh, kind of like talk before I head in. But let me tell you something. It's been so entertaining. Like, honestly, Joker just ran down the escalator before and attacked Batman. Just spend a day hanging out here. You never know what you'll find or see. I'm waiting for Scotty so that we can go in together. But, like, all of my favorite childhood, like, memories are all colliding. <laughs> like, honestly, yeah, Gaston there, Magneto, Gambit. I saw Ronald McDonald walk by. Oh, and now I see Scotty. <laughs> There he is! Are you ready? <laughs> it's like such a great world of everyone's favorite like pop culture all combining together. I love this. The music's good too. And when the night falls! Huh? I lost Scotty. I don't even know where he's at. It's so busy in here, but we gotta get to the booth. It looks busy at the Roosevelt's booth, but look at that. Holy moly, it's the biggest one I think they've ever made yet. Look at all the nice shirts too. Hey, how are ya? All right, it's about that time for the meet and greet, so I'm not gonna vlog, I'm gonna, you know, be talking and hanging out, socializing. So uh, I guess we'll pick it up right afterwards and uh, continue the game. Like I said, we got White Sox coming up later on. Oh, oh my Lord, I gotta get out there. I love how this, uh, this booth actually has like a little uh, window now. <laughs> oh, look at this out here. 
The meet and greet was amazing. Thank you, everyone who came out and said hi. I loved it so much. And I love coming to the cons and the different expos just because it gives me a chance to actually meet some of the people that watch my videos. You know what I mean? Like, uh, like in person. Like, there's people that I have talked to and had conversations with that I've never actually met. And it's so nice. So, I feel great. You know, today's been an amazing day. I, I love it. Like, I am so... I, I feel like I'm riding cloud nine now. And now, we're going to get ready for the White Sox game. But we're going to go grab a little dinner first. And then we're going to go to the White Sox game. And, you know, I got to get some pizza. <laughs> I was trying to decide on where I wanted to get pizza from. I did. I didn't want to go to Giordano's because uh, I have one of those in Florida. I had some other good suggestions, but uh, I think I got a pretty good spot. I'm not the biggest fan of deep dish pizza, so I'm not too sure how I'm gonna like like Chicago deep dish pizza. Uh, but I did some research, and even though Chicago is known for the deep dish pizza, I hear where it's at is the thin crust pizza. In fact, I found a place where Oprah says uh, it's her favorite thin crust pizza because you guys know Oprah's from around uh, in Chicago. And uh, I think I'm gonna go there because we're gonna pick up some pizzas for the guys before we head to the game, and maybe I'll try a little bit both here it is pisano's oprah's favorite chicago pizza so off the hidden path that it doesn't even have a sidewalk got a little construction going on but hey at least they're uh still serving up some pizzas oh i definitely like the atmosphere in this place look at this <laughs> All right, I got the pizza. I got a 10-inch uh, deep dish, and then I got the medium thin crust. The thin crust is the pizza that uh, Oprah said is her favorite pizza in Chicago. And uh, we're going to eat in the lobby because we have to change for our White Sox game. But I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. Give it a taste, you know? I pulled over so I can give you guys a little peek see of the pizza. Here is the deep dish looking really good. Lots of cheese on there. And that's just a little small one. And then this is the thin crust over on this side. These boxes are a little tricky to open. Wow, and there is the thin crust. Now, I don't think it's really thin thin. I mean, it's thin compared to that crust, but holy moly, that's a lot of cheese. This is Oprah's favorite pizza right here. Like I mentioned, I'm not that big of a fan of deep dish pizza, but I want to try it. You know what I mean? And I'm kind of more excited for the uh, thin crust one. So here we go. I'm going to try this first slice. Look at that. A little undercarriage shot. Looking pretty fancy. And first bite. It's the sauce that's doing it for me. I like everything else, but the sauce has a little sweetness to it. It's a little sweet sauce. And I think both of these pizzas were $40. So $40, so $20 each, uh, $20 each tray. Uh, but I like this a lot more than I thought I would. And it is something special for me to like deep dish pizza. But now I want to get to the good stuff. Look at that goodness. Holy moly. I'll give you a little zoom in shot. I asked for them to cut it for me too. Holy cheese pole. There we go. Okay, I'm going to start. I always like the corner pieces to flatbread or thin crust pizzas. I don't know, I just like them, little triangle shapes. I definitely get the hype. This is so good. The crust has a different taste to it. Way different than that crust. And uh, the sauce, I think, is the same. I don't know, I actually really, really like this. I'm sure the deep dish is like just as good as this if you kind of like deep dish like that. I don't like deep dish like that. So uh, if you like deep dish pizza, I bet you're going to love that one, and I absolutely love this. I can see why Oprah loves it. It's got a nice little crunch to it, too. I feel like now, whenever someone brings up the conversation of Chicago pizza, I think I'm going to be able to recommend them that. I'm going to be like, yo, try the uh, Thin Crisp Pizza at uh, Paisano's, or I'm not too sure how to say it. Paisano's, Paisano's, either way.
now I can officially say I tried a true Chicago deep dish pizza. And uh, yeah, it's time to get ready for the White Sox game. And I'm so excited. We got Frank Thomas shirts that Roosevelt's made that we're all going to be wearing. So we have to change. And I wanted to show you the view from my room before I switch out because this is beautiful. Look at this right here. I got like a corner, a corner room here. And it's like so amazing. I love it. Holy moly, like look, you can actually see, I think that's Lake Michigan there. That is beautiful. You can see the Navy Pier over there as well, and a whole lot of birds. Oh, uh, I think everyone's got the uh, Frank Thomas shirt on. Look at this. There we go. There he is. How many people are, wait, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess we're going to make it. There's already three in there. Ain't all these questions if we can fit. Please, yeah, we Please probably should have not set the front. The skinniest dude sets in the biggest. We got this. <laughs> well, he did oh. call shotgun. No, we're just, good. we're cozy. Just yeah. a bunch of guys yeah. wearing a Frank Thomas shirt. Yeah. Bunch of guys. Ready to go to white shirt. Hey, Frankie boy. We're going to play some baseball. <laughs> oh, we're right here. Look at that. I still call Comiskey, bro. Now, I'm pretty sure the game has already started. The game started a year ago. Yo, this is great. I can't believe we're here. Wow, it looks beautiful, right? The sun is nice. It's quiet, too. The game already started? We got here a little bit late because we had to stop and get dinner. Uh, but it is still, like, so beautiful out. The sun is kind of beaming down. And I'm so excited. Another stadium. Another uh, Major League Baseball game that I could say I've, I've, I've attended. <laughs> I need a hot dog. Uh, a Polish sausage. A Polish sausage yeah, with onions. That's the one. He knows. Wow, look at this. I still have not caught a home run or a foul ball yet. I still haven't gotten my first ball from a game. And this is like, I think my sixth, maybe fifth game. I've been to so many, it's been so amazing. Only in the past like two years, I went to go see uh, the Blue Jays. Uh, we went to Fenway. Uh, we went to the Tokyo Superdome uh, here. Like there's so many, like I, I can't remember it. It's been pretty epic. Cheers. Old style. Oh yeah, you're, you're, you're there you're it is. I know. Who got that? Cheers. Yeah, yeah bring it in. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Hey, Luke. It might be super windy up here, but the view is amazing. I'm gonna try to show you guys and block the wind with my body at the same time. But look at how amazing this is. Chicago is beautiful. And I think we uh, found our seats up the top. I know it just seems like every time I go to a city, I go to the baseball game because I just think it's so interesting. Like I said, I've never been to any Major League Baseball games before. And now we've been to Boston, Toronto, uh, now here, and other ones too. Like I think this is like my fifth like uh, Major League Baseball game. Like. I, I, it's, I just like doing it now. We're gonna get some the seats. Nice shirts, boys, I like it. Oh, yeah. no, no, hey. Frankie, baby. <laughs> we're, we're gonna get to the seats and I'm gonna finish my beer. <laughs> like, legit. Like, I'm already almost there. I love the shirt. Thank you. Wow. I feel so fancy right now. This is the way. Here will we we'll save us. Wow, guys. We're here. Uh, we're here. Look at this. I had to get myself one of the uh, Belgium bangers. Oh, the hot dog's a banger. Look at it. Well, it's actually a Polish sausage on a pretzel roll with onions. I love it. I love it going around and trying the different ones. My favorite so far is the Fenway Frank. And it's not a good vibe in here. Get up and catch those. I don't like the onions. They're cold. Yeah, they're cold onions. They're cold caramelized onions. 
cold caramelized onions. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Let me give it a go. It's pretty spicy. I mean, I like it. It's all right, but I wasn't expecting it. It is. It's got a little spice on it. Oh, don't bring that wave over here. I can't say that was my favorite dog here, but I may have gotten the wrong one because someone said that there's way better ones. So I'm going to keep my eye out, uh, but the game has been amazing. Like, honestly, it's been so close, and the White Sox just had back-to-back -back innings with three runs, and it's, it's literally neck and neck right now. I think we're going to roll out and uh, go meet up with some of the other insiders. Such a good game, though. Yeah. Oh, uh, now we see him. <laughs> wow. I was looking at you guys from up there. It was really cool. I was all the way up there and I was videoing you guys. What's that? We're ripping the packs. <laughs> I know that guy. Any autographs or jerseys? Patch cards. Oh, Charlie Morton, not good. Oh, the Oh, wow, look at that. Space Mountain. Space Mountain. Wait, how did that happen? What pack do you have? You have a baseball pack and you got that? What are the chances of that? And with that, I think we are done here today. And that's a wrap for Chicago. I had a lot of fun. The White Sox won, which I wasn't expecting that. But hey, I wish I could have seen a Cubs game, though. Maybe next time. There's a lot of things I wish I could have done here in Chicago. But uh, don't much have uh, don't have enough time. So uh, it's time to head back to Florida. Time to see Gracie Girl and get over the fact that my parents are gone. They left a week ago. I've been up here for a while. I'm so sad. But... Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. Can't wait to be back into Florida to show you guys some more stuff. And literally just two weeks, maybe three weeks away, I'm going on another big trip. Another international trip. And I'm so excited to share it with you guys. It's going to be amazing. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.